Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel React Developer and today I'll be building a project based on the map box again and today I'll be covering the polygon part in the map box and we'll try to create a polygon and later we'll just change the color of the polygon uh, with the color pickle we'll be integrating, integrating in our app so let's jump into this map project which I have already created with a simple map nothing is fancy and just uh, MUI layout which you can get uh, anywhere on the internet so let's start uh, building the polygon so what polygon is basically uh, in the map box it's like suppose uh, we create this marker uh, if you have watched the previous video you might have the understanding of how this marker is coming up here okay so suppose uh, there is a marker and we want a um, area like uh, a square from here to here uh, surrounding the marker so that uh, that we uh, i can show you polygon box here So this is the polygon they have shown and if you go down you'll notice uh, this is the coordinates. So to give you a, a better understanding how the polygon is created suppose you provide a total of three coordinates one here one here and one here. So what mapbox will do and what uh, that polygon feature will do it will just try to create a line from the first point to the second point and the second to the third point uh, so it just depends upon the coordinates what coordinates do you give and based on that it will create a structure like a square rectangle anyway anything so we'll try to make this we'll try to make this in react basically because if you go to the vanilla JavaScript and the HTML CSS you can directly copy it and it will work fine absolutely fine so let's start so to give you a, a basic understanding of the code so these are left uh, used for the toggle for the left sidebar and all here is a layer color which will I which I will use for later for the color picker then this new place for the markers to record the new place we click on and this polygon chord uh, will be helpful in passing this coordinates which you saw in this array so we'll just try to use that area is something will I'll show you where I'll use the area it's the distance basically how much distance I need to uh, calculate the next coordinate that's what it is the viewport is the initial viewports of the map uh, this is of no use I guess map ref is uh, the basic use ref we are using on the map uh, which we can use to change the camera angles and other things but currently I'm not using it I'll leave it like that so first of all let's go into the map if you have watched my previous video you might have understanding of how this new marker is working basically on the click we are just uh, uh, setting the new longitudes and latitudes in a new place and this marker is provided by the map box itself, map box itself and you can just use uh, the latitude and longitude to show the marker on the map so let's start first first of all we'll be importing the source is source available at the top no I don't think so no. but it is not giving any said I try once so source will take uh, one ID you can give ID of your choice I am giving my data then 
what type of uh, source we need so we need a geo json source and also we'll have to pass the data so the data is, uh, is used to pass the fee, uh, type and then uh, what let me show you that geo json we need to define this geo json for that i'll go on the top and just Association will be so first of all type type will be feature and feature f will be capital then we'll have the geometry what geometry we need it for so first of all the type of geometry so that will be our polygon again p will be capital i guess yeah and then we'll have the coordinates so coordinates goes in the array uh, as you have seen in the previous screen so as i have already defined the polygon chord here and we are just passing the prop from in the app map and in the app map we are just import uh, getting this prop and we'll directly use it here okay so first step is ready the source is ready with the type of polygon we need and other stuff the next thing for a polygon is that uh, let's suppose you created a this polygon but uh, you can't see it because it's just the four coordinates uh, which has been created and it's uh, embedded on the map but you can't see it because there's nothing to see in the polygon you need to provide something to see so if you can see closely there's two things here one this black marker and then this blue uh, background so for that this black one will need a layer which will uh, which will use that coordinate uh, and just create a black marker on the whole lines will uh, create with the polygon and once that is done we'll just you uh, create another layer which will provide us this background color so let me show you how we can do that in react so in react we'll need a layer layer and layer will have some type of style suppose so now I'm giving a name layer style itself. And in this layer style, why I copied, I just don't know. So first of all, we need that black line. So for that black line is simple main, and then we'll have a what type. So we'll have type fill okay this fill will work okay let's do one thing let's change it change it to outline and this line will also become something else like simple line oh this stuff man why i wrote i just wrote now the source will be same source source will be main then i don't think we need any law but we need the paint so to paint it we'll need two things so first of all fill uh, i could get the stuff here directly why i'm writing this here we go we just need these two things
I guess I just no problem. We'll just make another style here. Go and this will be our layer outline style. Now there's one more thing. Since uh, this will give the static color but we don't want this we want the color which we'll uh, later on pick with the okay first uh, let's first make this later on we can do that so the first layer was our outline but uh, this background one is written here with the layer style just let me do one thing uh, I'll just have to create another layer and I'll just have to pass layer outline style and so our polygon is ready <laughs> but uh, if we click right now we can't see because it doesn't have that coordinates we need to create that coordinates so to create the coordinates okay, so how we can uh, continue with the coordinates how we can generate the coordinate I have already written a function here so this function basically first of all takes a degree whatever degree angle so suppose this is our point so from this point at what degree we want that here you can see there is small polygon i have created but we'll just work on it wait a second so this uh, this is a bearing and this is the initial position basically it is the initial latitude uh, and the longitude which will pass uh, through the new place and this is a distance we can just remove it and in the distance we can directly put uh, distance to be 5 kilometers and so let's see what happens here again we don't need distance so what I'm doing is when the new place gets the value I call this thing and this function first of all takes the new place latitude and the longitude and in, on the next side on every 45 degree angle change to create a square 45, 135, 10, 220 and 315 this will just create an exact square if you have a, a little bit of understanding of the Pythagoras theorem if you remember it still you can just uh, see how the diagonals are created and you can just get the sum so let's move on so now th what this will do it will uh, give an exact clear chord let's move on it will just uh, it has a bunch of functions you can just go through it I just got it from the stack overflow I am pretty much blunt here that I got it from stack overflow and I am using it directly so and on the last it's uh, returning a final chord which is an array and in this array I am having the longitude and the latitudes okay let's if you want to see you can just uh, see this thing suppose this is the polygon chord and I'll just log here for you let me show you there now it has a zero length but when we click on this see this is having four different coordinates five kilometers apart okay 
so if you can see there is a black outline there and a blue a basic blue background which we got from here so it's exactly same to this one only uh, it's just a camera angle which uh, which is not helping us let's do one thing I'm changing it to zero degree and now I'm refreshing it so now it is from the above this is the camera angle from the top view so the polygon is ready let's jump on to the color picker part and just it's the color picker is very easy i bet you that's very much easy form control from the mui then we have a full width just a simple tradition i do i just don't know why then i have a typography it will show us the layer color whatever color we have selected then i have the native html input and it is of a type color then on change will have set layer color e dot target dot value and also it will have a value prop which will have the layer color so now it's a controlled input if you remember about the control components this is the example of controlled component you are showing the value first of all the layer color gets updated at the stop and then the layer color variable which is updated shows the values on the input so it's not directly the value you write or you select it just goes back to the variable and then the updated variable shows the value so basic react nothing else and now let's uh, let me do one more thing layer color is passed to the app map component here and on the app map component I'm getting this layer color but not using it so let me use it here uh, what I will do is if there's no color selected uh, let me one uh, no no I have done one very good thing I have given this blue shade initially to the layer color nice so now if we go this color is same but let me try to change it yo this is cool this is extra cool whatever color you want you can just select just put it on. and also if you create click somewhere else the polygon will be created uh, anywhere uh, you click immediately and you can also change colors based on your requirements you can just manipulate it so that's all for this video guys <coughs> and also if you got some good information press hit the like button and also subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed it I have got the function you could use this you can use this or you could use something else